Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria and I hope you're all doing great. So today I will be making some lemon decor. Actually, I'll be making napkin ring holders using the jumbo stickers from the Dollar Tree. All the items that I have that I will be using for this are from the Dollar Tree. So to start off, of course, the jumbo stickers in the lemon. Now here in Canada, as far as I know, we have not received any of the lemon dinnerware. And that by far is my favorite from the cherries. And I believe there's another one which are sunflowers. The lemon is by far my favorite. But unfortunately, we haven't received them here. So um, I probably will be getting some sent to me by some family. But until then, I have my white dinnerware. And I thought this would be another way to incorporate that lemon, that nice yellow pop of color to a table, even if you don't have the dinnerware. So I have my jumbo stickers. And with this, you get stickers on the front as well as the back. I have some Mod Podge that I'll be using. I have a pack of silver plastic napkin rings. I'll be making six and if you decide to make this you can definitely just leave the napkin rings as they are in the silver finish they are very pretty but because i want to give this more of a farmhouse look i will be using the nautical rope from the dollar tree and also i have a sharp cutting knife so that i can cut my ready board which is the last item that i will be using and i have mine in black but of course you can get it in black or white I also will be using my hot glue and I believe that's about it. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to peel the lemon sticker and I'm going to just apply a thin coat on the back of the sticker and then I'm going to place it on top of my ready board. Now, I know that it will stick to the board, but I just really want to make sure that the sticker is going to stay on the ready board, and I think with the Mod Podge, it'll secure it just a little bit better from lifting. Do the other five in the same way and let that dry. So now I am ready to cut my lemon pieces out. I will say having a very sharp blade is going to make this next step go much more smoothly and you're also going to get a nicer finish using a sharp blade. Now I did glue down a few extra pieces because I'm going to show you a couple other ways that I use these to decorate in my home. Once you've cut all your pieces out you will have something that looks like this. I then will take my Dollar Tree nautical rope and using my hot glue, I will glue it down to cover all of the edges. So I've gone all the way around. Now I will say I love using this thickness of the nautical rope because I only have to go around once and it completely seals the edge of the ready board. 
but I will say with this thickness it is a little bit harder to work your way around those areas where it goes in a little bit deeper such as here so what I did was as I was going around I just filled the bottom with glue this way as I was pushing it down wherever the nautical rope would not reach then at least the glue sealed up that ready board and I still think it looks really great like that so after I did that I just went with my hot glue and wherever there might have been any glue that had uh, leaked out or maybe there was a little bit more of a buildup with the tip of the hot glue I just smoothed it out so that you don't see any rough spots with the glue and I think it looks pretty cute so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other five once I have finished that I'm going to take my Mod Podge again and I'm gonna give one if not two coats to the front and the back of this just to seal it all up okay so one last step for me to go I have my silver plastic napkin rings now if you like the look of these as they are then you don't need to do this next step all you need to do is just take your hot glue or your e6000 glue and then glue it to the back of the lemon piece here now I do want to add that I did paint the backs of my lemon pieces with some black acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree just because um, the black of the ready board was more dull and also you could see the glue all around the edges so by painting it like this it just makes them look a lot nicer I also added a coat of Mod Podge to seal and protect the back as well and again I did add them to the front to seal and protect the front also now I'm going to go ahead and wrap the six napkin rings with the nautical rope just to kind of tie everything together with the nautical rope around the edges here. Once I have completed that I will show you what my table looks like with the napkin ring holders, the lemon napkin ring, ho ring holders on my table. guys well here are my lemon napkin ring holders and I absolutely love them so although I do not have my lemon plates yet I'm still able to display lemons on top of my plates in this way and I absolutely love how these have turned out now I just want to explain a few things here um, if you can remember I filled in these gaps where the nautical rope could not reach with the hot glue but I didn't want to leave the hot glue showing so I simply took a sharpie marker and then colored that glue in and I just think it looks a lot nicer this way it looks much more finished also when I went around the edge of the ready board here for the lemon piece 
I ended up using one bunch of the nautical rope for all six and I had a little piece left over but there wasn't quite enough to do another lemon piece. Then for the back where the silver ring where I wrapped it with the nautical rope I was able to do all six and again I had a little piece left over. Now I want to show you a couple other ways that I used these lemon pieces that I cut out from the ready board to decorate my dining room. Okay, so I ended up making a banner. Now this banner I purchased at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 here in Canada. It is a burlap banner, but I will say it was very, very cheaply made. I know for $1.25, but in the picture it showed that each pennant had two grommets to string the jute twine, the piece of jute twine that was included with the banner. However, there were no grommets. There were just two holes punched into the burlap, but the burlap was unraveling. So what I ended up doing was I took some black construction paper that I already had on hand and I cut out, I traced the pennant and then I cut out the construction paper and glued it to the back of the burlap. This way it'll keep the burlap in place and keep it from unraveling. Um, if you can see the lemons here, I did not add the nautical rope all the way around. I probably will end up doing it. I just did not have enough time. So I simply just put them up this way, which they look great like this as well. I did end up sealing the front and the back as well as the sides in case I don't get around to adding the nautical rope with the Mod Podge just to seal it and to protect it. So because I didn't use the nautical rope, I ended up buying a package of clothespins at the Dollar Tree. So I used half of the pack and then um, the other half, I'm just keeping it aside for some other DIY. And I really love, instead of stringing it through, I love just hanging it up here um, the way that I did. I think it turned out fantastic and I think it, it really looks beautiful and adds that pop of color over to this area where it's pretty much all white. Also, I stenciled out the word lemons. I used the stencil from the Dollar Tree. Again, I would recommend whenever you're stenciling, use a cosmetic sponge. And I just think that it's so much easier um, you can pounce off the extra paint and you don't get as much bleeding. Actually, I don't get any bleeding, but um, if you pounce off, you know, a lot of the paint, I just think it works so much better. Um, so I did use the white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. And then I took that Sharpie again and then I just outlined the white letter so that it would stand out more. And I absolutely, again, love how this has turned out. And then the second way that I want to show you um, that I used these lemon cutouts is I actually just added a magnet to the back. Now this wagon wheel, I will post the link in the description box below to the DIY that I used um, this wagon wheel. It was a wagon wheel centerpiece and I did it so that you could use it as a centerpiece or you could take it apart and then you could also use it to hang it um, on a door or lean it up against something and use it as just a wagon wheel. Now when I made that centerpiece, I did add magnets to the actual wagon wheel to the one side. So this was great to just add some magnets to the back of these lemon pieces and then just put them on the wagon wheel and how great does that look. I absolutely love this piece. And I love that the ready board is so lightweight, so there's not a lot of weight added onto this. Now, if I wanted to, I could also just take some greenery or um, garland and then just rope it through the wagon wheel just to give it a little bit more um, dimension. But I absolutely love how this has turned out. 
In the center of the wagon wheel, I had also placed some magnets there. And if you can all remember, I haven't found these anymore, but these were trinket trays that the Dollar Tree carried, I think it was a couple of years ago, and I did see a few last year, but I haven't seen any this year. And this was the trinket tray that said, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy, and I absolutely loved that. And so now I can enjoy displaying it here in my dining room on my wagon wheel. All right, guys, well, that will do it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed these simple DIYs. I really just wanted to show you some fun ways in using the Dollar Tree wall stickers. I really am glad that I did this video because I was able to decorate my table, make a really fun wreath, and also make a banner that I absolutely love. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, please click on the like button, share the video if you can, it greatly helps my channel, and if you really enjoy the content that I'm sharing, then please consider subscribing to my channel, that would be great. As always guys, you take care of yourselves, and I so hope to catch you in my next video. Bye bye